Hey, what's up everybody? I'm doing a tutorial for the first time in about five or maybe six years, so uh, don't look back at my other videos, they're from about 2012. Anyway, since I'm going to be messing around a lot in Clip Studio Paint, I thought I'd just make a whole bunch of short videos that show the little tidbits and gems that I've picked up and learned that might make your comic creation or whatever kind of art you make digitally easier. And I'm going to be working quite a lot in Clip Studio Paint, so you might be wondering why I have Photoshop open. Anyway, that's mostly because Photoshop has this quite useful feature where if I hold down the shift key and draw a line, I am locked. Oh, yeah, and it also does that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it also joins up my line, so if I start drawing and then I hold down shift, I can make horizontal lines and also vertical lines. It's the problem is if I hold down shift, it'll join up each of my lines. That's also another useful feature. See, I'm making dots and joining up my lines. I mean, this might not seem very useful when you're just scribbling and doodling around, but it's actually quite useful for establishing perspective and drawing straight lines when you need to draw straight lines. But here I have, so this is how it works in Photoshop. If I open Clip Studio Paint and I press the shift key, I have my pencil tool active. Press the shift key. Ah, okay. I get this. I can still move around. I can still make straight lines. I'm just, all I'm doing is holding down shift. I'm drawing a dot and holding down shift and clicking again. I mean, this might be useful, it might be what you need it to do, but what I've found, sometimes I just need to be snapped to a completely horizontal or vertical line. And the Clip Studio Paint doesn't allow you to do that just by pressing shift. Now I'm going to delete that, all my doodly stuff. But I have found a way around this. We do it using perspective rulers. Now I, I might explain perspective rulers in detail a little bit later, but I wasn't planning on doing a whole beginner's course to Clip Studio Paint. But what I do, let's see, I go to layer, ruler, dash frame, create perspective ruler. And we're going to create a one point perspective ruler on a new layer. And I click OK for that. Now I have this perspective ruler. I click the object tool, which is this little 3D box with a cursor icon, and I can move it around. Now the perspective doesn't actually matter that much if we're just trying to draw horizontal and vertical lines where the vanishing point is won't really matter at all because we're going to be turning all that off. I have found that Clip Studio Paint has this rather interesting and sometimes annoying feature. I press this little diamond here on the receding lines. Now this is actually quite important when you're dealing with perspective rulers because sometimes I've accidentally turned off my perspective rulers while I'm trying to draw in perspective and then wondering why it doesn't work. So if I click the little diamond on these little lines, you see this is the vanishing point and this is our little center point for the perspective. We click the little diamond here and see my lines have turned green. Now when the lines are green, your pencil or pen or whatever drawing tool you're using, it won't snap to them. So I can actually lock that layer, the layer with my perspective ruler on it, and I pick up my pencil tool again and I snap to this, snap to special ruler, make sure that's turned on because that's what snaps to the perspective ruler. And all of a sudden, oh my god, I am snapped to drawing vertical and horizontal lines. And it works with the pen tool as well. So yeah, this is 
just a useful little thing that I learned and I thought somebody else might be pulling their hair out maybe trying to figure out how to snap their pencil tool to completely vertical or horizontal so yeah hope you hope you enjoyed this hope it cleared some problems up for you and yeah I'll see you in the next video